Ah! Well, there was the first one that thought he wanted to fly. Not a real shocker that I missed him. This had one boil on it, but it was like a foot in front of the bait, way in front of it. Strange. We'll see how this goes. Again, I'm out at Geode. I'm trying to trying to catch the fish on hot rod bait. Just doing a little fun fishing. Don't really have much coming up. There's one. No, oh, I missed him. Fiddled around with him too long. If they want to bite a jig today, we can have fun, for sure. Right there's the bait. That's a 3 8 ounce Wiggs jig in black and blue. And a Hot Rod Baits jig chunk in bright blue. For some reason, for me, when it's a black and blue, I rarely use a dark color trailer on it. I know a lot of guys like a black and blue flake. I don't know. For me, if it's a black and blue jig, it's going to have a bright blue trailer on it. Like I said, I'm not sure that uh, the jig is going to be the best way to catch these fish today. Water temp is pushing over 70, so I would say these fish are definitely in full blown spawn. So, if the water hasn't been this warm for very long, so. I've already poked around with a frog some because that's what I'd actually like to catch them on is a frog. It looks real froggy. There's a decent amount of snot moss and other crap on top of the water. Seeds. Plenty of seeds. But mostly I just like to get a bite.
There's like a dozen boats out here right now, and I'm the only one probably from... There he is. Little baby. I was about to say I was the only one from the boat ramp up the lake. So, maybe that should be telling me something. Little baby. 10 inch fish. And another junk plastic. And I've had plenty enough people ask me how I rigged this bait. And how I rigged it is pretty simple. If I had my power poles, then I would put them down now. I'm simply using 20 pound fluorocarbon on a 5 16 tungsten weight that is green pumpkin colored which I really don't care. I'll make it whatever color. Uh, I think this is probably a Trocar 4 rot straight shank flipping hook. And I'm just straight Texas rigging it. Since there's virtually no structure out here geode really to get caught up on, I won't peg it. Like at 12 mile I had it pegged. But there's no need for it here. So... That's pretty much the final deal. And if I can't get a bite, chances are you're going to see that bait in my hand. Because it's a pretty looking bait to me. I Come on. Boy, you don't lose one very often. Since I keep 74 rods in my boat at all, just given times, 60 more than I should have. I always still have multiple rigs. With a big craw on it. Pretty much same exact rig, green pumpkin blue. Other than that it's on a lot bigger rod. Probably a little heavier weight too. It's very possible right now too that the afternoon bite's just bad enough that I shouldn't be expecting much. There's one. Yeah, 
I shouldn't say a big one, but... But I can always stand there, that's a freaking stud! another piece of the puzzle and another bait person to talk about the durability of baits and so on because by a large part I'm terrible about it I just change it all the time you know, I don't need to pretty much if a bait catches a fish it's done for me for today So far we know we can get a bite at least. <laughs> 